Question number three. What were your, okay, so this is kind of a multi-part question. Okay. What were your favorite and least favorite pieces of gear? Okay. And then um, if you're planning on doing other trails in the future, are there any changes you're going to make for future hikes? Like you're going to swap out some gear. Yeah. So, oh goodness. So my favorite piece of gear is called the med kit. And it is like this little bag that I have that consists of my first aid kit. It has a cork ball. It has like a bunch of extra little things in there that like help me with like self-care and making sure that I'm okay and like healthy. And so that was definitely my favorite piece of gear, mostly because like the little bag that it was in, because I was like, this just seems perfect for a med kit. And then uh, my least favorite piece of gear was probably my poop kit. Um, okay mostly because it was just like poorly set up and I felt like it took me so long to get into like the game of how to have a very successful poop kit and like to where when I had to have those moments that I like flowed very easily and very well for me mm -hmm. um like not bashing on it too much I just feel like I could have done like things within the beginning to where like it could have been simple the whole time okay mm -hmm. yeah yeah what about change? So you kind of upgraded your poop kit, right? Like you um, made some changes or you did make changes to make it so a little I, bit better? I kind of did. Um, okay. Don't lug out toilet paper, I learned mostly because like it's a lot to like actively try and find toilet paper and then you have to like put it in a bag, but like in like you still might be messy. Right. And stuff. But if you bring baby wipes, they have multiple uses, you know it's clean. And it's like, you don't have to carry out as much toilet paper. Like sure, baby wipes are still kind of heavy, but throughout time, it'll last you a lot longer and be more beneficial. Yes. <clears throat> Same page, baby wipes all the way. And you could use it for your face. You know, I actually yeah. use kind of like um, a cure, like their facial wipes, but it works for everywhere. It's like yeah. a clean product, toxic free, that sort of thing. So I just yeah. like, whenever I needed to like get the sunscreen off my face at night or whatever, and then I could do oh, my yeah. face and my feet, you know, they're yeah. so great. So that's a good tip. Yeah. For well, so I used them for like a bunch of different things, like for cleaning out cuts, or like if I had to like prep a blister, like that kind of thing. Um, and then like, I would use it as like a sanitary station for like the needles and stuff I was using for my blisters. Right. Um, yeah, I really hate that it took me like over halfway to figure out baby wipes were the solution to a lot of my problems. <laughs> right. Yeah. Gear changes I want to make possibly. Yeah. Um, honestly, so I was supposed to hike the CDT this upcoming summer. That plan completely changed mostly because someone was like, wouldn't you rather finish your triple crown like where you grew up? And I was like, that's that's thinking then, yeah. Um, but when I was making a list of like things I needed slash want for my CDT through hike, I did a whole gear like change list. Like I wrote down things that worked for me, things that didn't work for me, pieces of gear I needed that would definitely like benefit me in the long run. And I also like figured out a way like how I want to change my packing setup that's more efficient. And it's all by watching other hikers and like talking to them about gear and stuff. Like I haven't tried any of it out because I haven't had the chance yet, but like it definitely like helped. Like I can definitely like say I want to change how I pack my bag to where it's like four, <clears throat> four big bags with everything in it that would be more waterproof, like where things go, like just upgrading gear. Like I, I had a spot tracker instead of a Garmin and I want to change to a Garmin mostly because it has like two-way messaging and then just making things light as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you yeah. have a whole list of things. And I have I a guess whole list. A full, yes. Like it's mm -hmm. kind of crazy. Right. And the Garmin is a good point because they're the two I have one as well and the two-way match messaging was great yeah. like I contacted hikers that I was hiking around to see where they were like they didn't come to camp and that sort of thing so it was so great for communication yeah I I definitely saw that along the way with like that was like the big like debate between like Garmin users was can two Garmins talk to each other 
and they can. We found that out a lot. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely kinda like a Garmin. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like a walkie talkie situation, but it's like yeah. via text. Yeah. So it's great. Mm-hmm. Cool.